We are now in the center part of Serbia, in the factory that produces complex combat system. It's the name of the factory, and in that factory we produce something like this uh, multi-role armored vehicle, Lazar. We also produce here our howitzer system Nora, 155mm 52 caliber. And also in this factory we produce some of other smaller vehicle 4x4 that we use in this other system like artillery system, like command vehicle, observation vehicle, etc. In 2009 it's the first Lazar and first version of Lazar which we produce for our customer. This version of Lazar is specially made for need of Serbian army. So we have independent suspension system, a 30 mm cannon and some other technical requirements that Serbian army want to have in their armored and personal protection vehicle. The advantage of this vehicle and the main difference is in the sitting position of the soldier behind the vehicle because they sit back to back and they are practically looking around the vehicle and if there is any ambush situation, they can fire from the vehicle and they're very safe because uh, the Lazar is protected by the side up to 14.5 millimeters and front of the Lazar is protected up to 30 millimeter ammunition. It's very fast to load and unload soldiers from the vehicle because we have these two doors and also this, we have this hy hydraulic ramp. Also, the drive position is very good and the commander and the driver can see 360 degrees around the vehicle. You see different type of weapon system. We have 30 mm gun, we have Sun-62 and also Maljutka rockets, anti-tank. You can shoot the tank up to 3000 meters. We also have it equipped with thermobaric warhead against some anti-bunker if your target is something like that. So you need different type of sites for these systems. But if you choose some other combination of the systems, of the armament, we can provide it. Even if you request any type of uh, this vehicle without maybe armament, it's also possible for some ambulance vehicle because you want to protect your crew inside the vehicle. It's fully mine resistant, up to eight kilogram of TNT. You see two layers of this specially enforced steel and you could put additional protection inside but you then increase the weight of the vehicle. See the position of the driver and behind you see the position of the commander of the vehicle. Two independent systems for you around the vehicle and also commander can put command to the gunner. Gunner is positioned inside the turret so he can aim the target and fire with this 30 millimeter gun. You can inflate and deflate tires from the cabin. So if there is any slippery soil like snow, like mud, you can deflate the tires, make more grip on the tires. And after you come back on the, some normal road, you can inflate your tires and run normally. The speed is up to 120 kilometers. We finished our assembly lines. Uh, we have a new factory with new assembly lines over here in the plan. So we practically have one assembly line for uh, Nora and one assembly line for vehicles like Lazar and other, other type of vehicles. We equip that factories because we already have some purchase for Lazar and for Nora system. And this is the main reason why we make this new factory over there.